I ground hunted here and I got a star piece. Ah! I got another star piece as well. Okay! There's one up there, but I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to get it just yet, so I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for now. Oh, perfecto! I needed this. Quick change. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Around eight things. You have seven, seven beefy... Oh, God. Seven. Okay, guy. All right. I, at least I got quick change. Let's see what I can replace, because I, I need it now. Well, I'm not getting it anytime soon. Let's go back up. Seven PP. Well, I went to remember some uh, volcano and get myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. Danger and all sorts of adventuring. It, it was probably not so, bro. You want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Rumble Bump Volcano. I know I promised I'd read it all, but this is just... If I read it, it's gonna take all day. I know I promise. Maybe I'll I'll overdub it, maybe. But uh if if I don't, then yeah, you kinda read it on your own. I'll probably overdub it though, don't worry. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not promising anything. I'm not promising anything. Okay, Luigi. Let's talk to his partner, because I don't think he even had a partner last time. This is new. Hey. Hey there. I'm Bluey. And this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? He did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up living in lava. Lava, man! Do you think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crystallified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's, that's the only reason why I'm still hanging around with him. Yo, pay, Luigi! So it seems that while my three party members love the hell out of me, especially Flurry, your one party member is only hanging out with you because he 
he wants you to because he, he hates you. He was called the White Torpedo, and now he's he's fried. Fried calamari. I could really go for some fried calamari too. I would actually eat bluey. Boss. But before I go, before I do anything else, I want to go. I want to go and look around because I think there's some secrets around here. You. Hello. Hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Oh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? What? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading up to Try Try Desert to prospect for oil. I lived my whole life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some of your money? I'm accepting additional investments of a hundred coins or more. You're poorer than I am. I don't have a hundred coins to give him. The thing is, while it does seem like a scam to make it an investment with this guy, because you may or may not get rich, I want to do it, because I believe in this guy. I want to check for secrets, dude. I'm going to ground pound anywhere. I'm going to skip ahead if I do find anything. I'll, I'll, I'll skip ahead. You know what? I, okay, so guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do some troubles at the, at the trouble center, because I want to get some coins. Don't worry, I'll skip ahead so you guys will not see any of it if you don't care. Because, you know, it, it, it's, it's tedious work, but you get coins for it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do some troubles. Wait, is it this Okay, it's this one. I'm going to do some troubles, and uh, don't worry, guys, I'll skip ahead. I'll just show my coins being collected, and then I'll go on with the story. So, don't worry about anything, guys. I'll just... I want to collect some coins until I can make the investment. So, don't worry, guys. Just... Just hold on a bit, okay? So I, I forgot to explain what these actually do. Um, troubles. You look at this board, and then you can solve people's troubles. Like, they have... They need help with something, you know? Certain characters need help. And if you help them out, they'll give you coins or items or anything as a prize. Maybe even a star piece, too. So you might want to do something. I think they give you star pieces. I don't know for sure, but all I know is you'll get coins and pretty good items. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to do a few of these. <laughs>
Okay, so I got a little carried away for doing these troubles, and I didn't get a reward for that last one. Only only thing I got was that you can buy a dizzy dial here and sell it for two coin profit at Pedalberg. Thanks. Anyway, we can do an investment with this guy now. Hi, Mario. Nice to see you again. Would you want to be rich? I'll lend you cash. Yes. Thank you so much. Won't get it. Thank you. And I don't think you can get it back either. You can do more, but... Okay, so you guys are thinking, okay, what is your problem? Why would you trust a complete stranger with an investment? You spent 100 coins on nothing, you're probably never going to see your money again. While it's true, I have faith in this guy, and I believe he will do what's right. Now, anyway, let's actually go into the west side of Rogueport, what we were supposed to do in the first place. Now, ooh, it looks a lot be it looks a lot prettier here. As you can see, there's flowers, you know, everything's nicer. And there's toads here. Look at that. There's a toad. I guess toads will only live in the good side of Rogue not the bad side. And I knew there was a star piece here. Yeah, there's toads here. Oh, look at the little baby toad. He's so cute. He's small. I almost fell in the gate. Man, was that close. Wow. He almost fell in the gate. Poor guy. Now... Where the heck is Don Pianta? I don't know where he is. Hmm. You're a Pianta. Are you Don Pianta? The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you out like that. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know where Don Pianta is. Maybe we, we need some help from some people around town. Maybe. Hold on. Maybe we need some help. Hint, hint. I know exactly where he is. And I know exactly how to get him. But, you know. Um, uh, yeah. I want to show off the story part. So, uh, yeah, what you got to do here... I don't know what else to explain it, you know? You got to go on here... To the east side of Rogueport. And then, uh... You go over here. You turn the paper. You turn into a little paper. And then you, uh, go inside this door. And you talk to this snail Koopa guy. You want something? Jump! This is the fortress of, of the robo-thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? They say it ain't vacation. What's that? You want to meet with that lying, cheating, stealing, no good and jerk for our brains Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt. They're never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag did the man's protection money from us, right? You know all that you still want to tell you we can meet that crumb? Yeah. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk. But it'll cost you 64 coins. <laughs> For coins? You want to pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way I'm saying. You have to pay this guy? 64 coins? You know what? No. I'm sorry, I would help you out, but I don't want to pay you guys. Um, okay, so you know what? I will skip ahead, because I know exactly where to go, but I don't want to pay anything. I don't I don't have the money to pay this guy. I don't want to pay for, for, for the sake of the story. I don't want to be paying random people. So I'm actually going to skip ahead and show you guys what to do for free. So in case you're wondering, don't pay that guy. Don't make him guilt trick you into paying him. I know how to get there for free. Well, I mean, it's still going to cost you something, but it's going to cost you significantly less than 64 coins. No matter what, you're going to have to be paying something. I thought I was going to skip ahead, but I kept talking to it, so now we're already here, and there's no point skipping ahead anymore. Oops. So what you have to do is go to the shop right here. There's a little kitty boo. Fun fact about her. Wait a minute. I'm here to buy. Wait, let's... Bio her with Goombella for a second. Ah! Oh! That's Pika, a boo that works on the west side goods. She's so pretty for a boo. I think her sister L Lala Boo works at. Wait, what? Oh, okay, this is the wrong boo I was talking about. Well, anyway, fun facts about these boos, the kitty boos. They were, I think, in either the Japanese version or in the beta. I don't know, beta. Or like, there was an un unused uh, graphic of them wearing bunny ears instead of cat ears, and I guess they censored it because they didn't want it to, to um, 
resemble a Playboy girl, bunny girl thing. So, yeah, they changed her from cat to... Or no, from rabbit to cat. What you have to do here is you have to buy a dried shroom and then a dizzy dial in this order. And then... Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, mister. What color is your mustache? My mustache is yellow. Oh, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right answer, uh, question at all. Now, so what you have to do is buy a dried shroom and a, and a dizzy dial in that order. So dried shroom first, dizzy second. And then, and when she asks what your favorite color is, you have to say yellow. And then, you guess the password and you can enter to meet Don Pianta. Yeah, I remember I, you can do it by memory. You don't have to pay anything. It's just, when you're playing this blind, you kind of have to pay because how how in the hell are you going to guess that, you know? So, yeah, but before I do anything, I want to sell I want to sell some stuff because I don't, you know, I, I need some mushrooms, you know? I need some good stuff. Sell that. Sell the dizzy dial, don't need that. Uh, dried shroom. I already have a mistake. You know what? Here, have the mistake. This is for you. I'm not going to eat the mistake. Anything else I can sell? Dizzy Dial, I'm not going to need this. Mr. Softener, nah, I don't need this either. Sell that. Dizzy Dial, sell that. And now I want to buy a few things. Ultra Shroom, I'm going to buy that. And is there anything else I can afford? No, nothing at all. Oh, I forgot to store the... Uh, you know what? I'll do that I don't do that in a bit. I, I'll have time. I'll have time. I want to store the Ultra Shroom because I'm not going to need that for a long, long, long time. Wait a minute. You know what? No, I'll keep Goombella out. She hasn't been out for a while. Goombella, come with me. Now we're in Don Pianta's office. Is there anything secret here? No? Okay. Don Pianta. Hey! What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. You got... If you got a beef, spit it out. Quickly, this is going to hurt gonna wait excuse me you wanna you want me to give you a ticket to the blimp you see now to me that's funny you're a stand-up comedian uh, are you a stand-up comedian no you ought to be you got some nerve asking me for that I'm Don Pianta I make crying babies weep you know look at him what a rube you must be a pain funny guy you must be looking for trouble or what not so fast boys I love this kid's gumption he came here to talk. He, he just came here to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So if we talk, you boys can wait till we're done. Before we open them up. You got it? You got it? So I gotta assume. You got a reason for wanting a ticket to the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad who got herself kidnapped? You're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that isn't about the ancient treasure? Vinny, Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing. That treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for, you know? I made my decision. You do a little favor, and I get and you get your ticket blimp. Some fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. You see, the thing is, my own daughter. You see, my own daughter in love with my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca. And this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, all you gotta do is tell me where they are. And then I shall settle this matter quickly in what's known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's because you lungs can't find her. I, I ought to... Swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dope ain't making complaints about my decisions. You making complaints? 
Uh, no, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I didn't know what I was thinking, boss. I couldn't ha- It couldn't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. Glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? If I'm my daughter and a friend, it didn't come see me. Francesca and frankly look like this. And just so we're clear, and just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Wow, we struck a deal with the Mafia. Now we have to find his daughter and his young associate, Frankie. They ran off together. My daughter ran off with my young associate. I'm gonna whack that guy, you know? I got a star piece. As I was saying, Mario's Italian, like he knows how to win the heart of a mob... mobster. Dean? Don? Is that what it's called? Do it's called a Don. Don Bianca. Because Mario's he, like, he's Italian, he's right at home, you know what I mean? He's right at the home. Now what we have to do is, I know exactly where the daughter is, because this... I don't even know if I mentioned it yet, but chapter 3 is actually my favorite chapter. And I memorize everything. I know what I know where every star piece is, I know where every shine sprite is, and I know how to start the chapter as quick as possible. So I'm very, very, very excited to start chapter 3. I'm gonna end the episode off... Not now. I'm like, not now. I'm saying soon. I want to get done with this prologue stuff first, and then we'll continue on the episode. So, uh, yeah, here are Francesca and Frankly, and I know exactly what voice I want to give Francesca. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something? Or, or do you like sliding up on people? What? Did he ask you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what are we doing? Oh my god. Frankie! Oh, homie! What should we do if Daddy finds us now? I don't know, but the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, we ought to head back and try to talk with the boss one more time. No, Frankie, I don't want that. Don't you, don't you know what he'll do to you if he finds out? Francesca, baby doll, all we can do is talk calm like with the boss. He'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. And more than anyone in the whole wide world. Then let's go, frankly. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, Buddy Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, frankly. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the harder they burn. What? Until I marry you, no one's extinguishing these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. Thank you so much. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what to do, guys. We we can't tell Don Pianza where it is. We can't tell Don, Don, Don Pianza where it is. What are we ever to do, guys? Whatever should we do? We had to say something to that Don Pianza fellow. I must say though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. True that, Flurry. You're absolutely right. Guys, I think there's only one thing we can do about this. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten up my mood? So, so give. So give what you got. Do you know the whereabouts of my two runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell ya! Oh, that a true fact? Rogueport Arbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate his favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, 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 you Nimrods! The kids are at the Arbor! Go get them now! Daddy, wait! Uh, Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss! I'm sorry, you truly am! Frankie! So, back you come. Head hung low, put your tail between your legs. Piantas have tails. I don't think that's their tail you're talking about. Daddy, no, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should have we should eloped, and it was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back, Daddy, talk to you. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for all. I deserve it all for being disloyal. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. 
You're gonna punish me! If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me! No, boss, it's all on me! It's my responsibility! All the blame right here! Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough, quiet, both of you! Francesca! My headstrong daughter! You used up your last favor long ago! And you, Frankie! You were like a son to me! And this, and this is how you repay your debt to Don Pianza? I feel such disappointment in all of you. It's like a poison shroom them in my gut. Daddy! Boss! Oh god, no more. Please don't talk anymore, Pianza. I don't ever want to see you mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where you go, just go! That's what you expected me to say, huh? And, well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do it if you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Boss, no, the dead. I, I mean, don't. I mean, uh, I mean boss. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise. She won't want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Francesca, seeing you like this makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey. If things turn out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. Hey, Don Pianta? You still here? Mm. Well, you found my daughter and got her back here. Ah, just look at how things turned out. A complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You have your ding- You have your t blimp tickets. I said ding tip it. It's blimp tickets. Who that guy's got a smile and ear to ear? She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. It thinks a bunch, Pally. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Don Pianza. Didn't mean to do that. What I wanted to do is, I think there's something secret in this office. No? Really? Nothing? Okay. I guess we're free to go. This might be a long episode because I, I don't know how long the episode is because I've done the troubles and it took me quite a bit. Like, it took me a while, so... I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. I, I just want to keep on going until I at least get to the the new area, which won't take long. It's gonna be like a couple minutes longer, so the episode's almost done anyway. Mama, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzfail. You are absolutely right. I said light, right, Flurry. You're absolutely right. Now let's go. To go to Glitzfail, you gotta go up here. Obviously, I mean it's the only area we haven't explored yet. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice already. Maybe I should take a break from recording for a little bit and come back later. Talk to this little cheap, cheap guy. The limb goes to Glitzville. Glitzville, I mean. Will you be joining us on our, our flight today? Please allow me to check your boarding pass. Please watch your step and while he's at the board. What about Flurry's boarding pass? You'd Whoa! I didn't even know that was there. Okay, more star pieces. That's fine with me. Now, let's jump into the blimp. Here we go, guys. It's so cool. It's, it's, it's a chinchy blimp, it's cute. Here we go, guys. We are now taking flight. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory.
Ma, 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 Glitzfield. I've heard the Glitz Pit is full of brawny brawls. And I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me tut. What? <laughs> Flurry. This place looks awesome. Oh, my favorite chapter of all time. Yes, I'm so excited to start playing. So shines bright. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star, hmm? Now, I know, I just realized, I didn't even realize how much of a weird place it is at the end of the episode. I should have ended it off before I started the chapter, not after I started it, because now it's a cliffhanger. I, yeah, this is a really awkward place to end the episode off here, but thank you guys for watching this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Your Door. This was a really weird episode, I know. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, favorite, comment. Um, what's your favorite chapter, Paper Mario Thousand Your Door? What's your favorite chapter? Um, I would like to, if you want to explain why, please refrain from commenting spoilers, because I know there are people who watch the video who are, like, who, who watch the series who don't really, um, like, who haven't played the game before, I don't know the story, so I want to keep from spoiling people who haven't seen it yet. So, uh, yeah. My favorite chapter is three, obviously. What's yours? And with that all said, I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys.